If you're ready to upgrade your game, then you want to know these two. You are the founders of Q4 Sports, ready for fourth quarter, upping our game and our life. Tell us a little bit about the brand, what inspired you? Man, yeah, I guess I started a uh, co-founder, designer of the product. And, you know, it really kind of got me anticipated about doing a new brand. It's something that's new. And again, it's, it's more motivational. Um, it's aspirational. About the fourth quarter, that's life. You know, it's, it's, uh, it feels like the fourth quarter, you want to give it your all at every minute. Every day second. in, day crunch out. Time. Yeah, it's crunch quarter. time. Crunch yeah. time. That's it. Definitely. That's it. So what inspired you guys to start this business? Um, well, I came in on the back end almost two years ago as a global sports partner. I was a sports agent. I represented a lot of NBA players and done a lot of major deals with Nike, Adidas, Under Armour, and Jordan brand. And um, when this opportunity presented itself, it was different, it was fun, and uh, it was out of the box, you know, to, to start a business and jump in the shoe, the shoe arena and uh, take everybody else on, you know. And I started seeing his work and the design, and it caught my eye. I used to play basketball as well professionally, so, I was like, let me see what these shoes feel like. Yeah. What did they feel like? <laughs> Real life test yeah. right there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Court so test. What did these That's shoes it. feel like? Honestly, it, it, one of the guys, to use the term of a guy that comes in, we, we sponsor this program, feel like you're floating on air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're all comfortable and soft on the inside. We got to get you guys It's got to be very down. competitive, yeah. I would imagine, this oh, world. Yeah. And um, so... One, you know, whenever you're looking at taking on an endeavor like this, you've got to get your mind right. You've got to get your mm. skill set right. You got to get whatever. Did you guys have some mentors? Like, because I'm sure there's oh, people yeah. that have done stuff like this. For that, sure. So yeah. tell us about because because yeah. anyone out there, whether they're doing yeah. a shoe industry mm -hmm. or whatever business, yeah. they need to understand. Like, you got to get coaches. You got to get, get mentors. mentors. So what does that look like for you guys? For me personally, it's Dwayne Edwards. He was the former brand director of Jordan Brand. Mm. Um, I went to his academy in Portland, Oregon, for three weeks called Pen Soul. Cool. So I still, you know, we still talk and I get insight from him. Um, I have two other guys in the industry that have been here for years before me. So, you know, I take everything that I could possibly get and try to multiply that within our business, you know. Smart, smart, smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You didn't waste any time, went straight to the top. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know, right, yeah. you know what's funny is that so often, especially in the American culture, women get a rap for being shoe lovers, right? Yeah. But oh, men man. love their oh, shoes. Yeah. And sneakers are so trendy yeah. right now. Yeah. I mean, it's a yeah. hot topic, pop yeah. culture. I mean, from sure. Yeezys for and sure. Jordans. Yeah. So yeah. what is that like for you? I mean, were you always shoe lovers? So I, I you know, I, well, he's, so we talked about <laughs> you know, not being able to afford a lot of things yeah. growing up. Yeah. You know, um, I didn't have a. I wanted the shoes, but I, I couldn't afford them. But now, when I'm in a position to uh, get the shoes, I was definitely a, a shoe lover, a shoe hog. How many pairs of shoes do you have in your closet? Honestly, um, and and <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm, I'm pro, it I'm pro it Q4 it sports, <laughs> but in the past, over thousands of pairs of Nikes, Adidas. Yeah, got to have a whole other shoes. bedroom yeah. for the yeah, shoes. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. incredible. Right. I uh, remember reading a story about Damon Dash, you know, he was oh, Jay-Z's oh, yeah, and yeah, he yeah. would buy a pair and wear them, and he'd throw them throw away, or give them away, usually. Yeah. Yeah. But he, every single day, he'd have a different pair of shoes. Yeah. One pair, one wear? Yes, one pair, one wear, Jess. Tweetable right there. You know, earlier we were talking about um, knowing the powers within mm -hmm. and not handing the power other. It seems like there's almost like a mentality around it. Like it is like you're that powerful yes. that you get to have this pair of shoes that's like ridiculously expensive. And then whether you give them away or mm -hmm. stack them yeah. or whatever it is, yeah. what do you think that is in the industry? Oh, uh, man, it's a lot of ego behind that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of pride, um, you know, when you look at somebody and then what they wear, it kind of tells a story it's about a them statement. in a way. And it's a statement. It is. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, I, I understand it, but I never really quite participate in it. Um, again, I didn't have a lot of shoes growing up, uh, but I admired certain pairs. So I knew that, you know, for me personally, it was Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what I wanted as part of be, that's what he wore. Oh, I want to be. I want to be part of that. Right. You know, that's it's wow. part of the story. Like mine, I, I want to be right? like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and I swear, when I was 10 and I had that new pair of shoes, I, I swear I could jump higher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Today, I, could yeah. Like yeah. 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 I could touch yeah. the ceiling right now. Yeah, it was incredible. That's me. It is interesting, though, that mindset, the way a certain pair of shoes makes you feel or how you feel in the fourth quarter. I mean, yeah. what was that like for you, especially when you were playing pro yeah. ball or yeah. making that deal yeah. or mm. building this business? How do you get in that mindset and stay in that mindset? So, um, like, I choose fourth quarter, uh, major part of life, 
you know, mm -hmm. buckling down and getting things done. Um, it's, it's the same thing. Uh, my mentality is like, look, my back is against the wall. Even when it's not against the wall, I think my back is mm -hmm. against the wall because you never want to get comfortable, period. Um, because there might be another shoe Yep. guys coming up you know but uh it, it just pushes you it's a drive it, it creates a passion about yourself and you know puts you in a position where you want to be successful and have opportunities to sit on the couch and talk to you guys you mm -hmm. know and yep. tell your story so and 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 when people put on our shoes our nba guys you know go out there and play 82 games a night and you know that fourth quarter come because everybody knows in the nba that's the only time yeah. you know, <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. in the rockets yeah. last night yeah. the last, last minute, minute yeah. you know, yeah. james harden yeah. Yeah. trying to get every show up zero, you know so that's what it is yeah. oh yeah i was chomping right. the pill when i watched that last minute <laughs> you see oh, yeah. 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 No, so i'm just, like, her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have lots of incredible you know teachers and leaders and masters and mentors and da -da -da. Mm -hmm. the one thing i think like, no one could teach is the desire yeah. facts talk about it mm. facts so how do you got what talk do you guys it. think about that how did you get your motivation your desire man i mean i always say it's in the dna it's it's for me there's two types of people in this world and it's, and it's the ones that truly 100 percent go for what they want and then there's others that allow other people to dictate where they go in life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't allow anybody to dictate my path that I want to take in my life, 100%. Mm -hmm. And it's that, it's that deep that I can't even put it in words. It's more about action. And I've shown mm -hmm. through my years of being in this industry through action that I, I really wanted to create my own mm -hmm. and empower other people while doing that. Mm -hmm. And further in this, because I want you to answer, because I know you guys are probably men of faith of some level. Yeah. How do you tell somebody, because our conversation earlier was, you know, oh, it's God's will, I'm just going to let it go and not have let it be guided. And like, what is that? How do you instill your faith in that desire and in that motivation for you guys? Um, for How do you me, justify yeah. having yeah, material yeah. stuff? Let's put it that way. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's tough. But for me, I just think it's just more about prayer. Like my desire comes from growing up in tough neighborhoods and not having things growing up. And, you know, I wasn't privy to the, to the TV and to see the big houses and all that stuff that go on. It was more like, I know something ain't right. I don't want to be in this area. It's got to be something yeah. better than this, right? Mm -hmm. That light at the end of the tunnel. So I just kept driving and driving and driving until I started seeing different things. And I'm like, oh, yeah. cool. Well, I can get a scholarship to go to college by playing basketball. Never knew that. Mm -hmm. Let me go get that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can go play basketball overseas for some money and travel the world and get stamps on my passport. Oh, let yeah. me go do that. Mm -hmm. So it was just like that drive, that drive. And, and, and I guess it was hidden passion or hidden desire. You know, and then when you get uh, introduced to the world and you start hearing things that you just the question yeah. you just mm -hmm. asked, so then your mind goes off and like, hmm, maybe that's the what possibility. That was. Yeah. It's such a good yeah. point, and um, I just want to add to that because I think that's profound, man. Like, and one of the um, realizations that I had was that you know, it's not new, obviously, but we come into life empty-handed and Thanks. we exit life empty-handed, right, right. and everything mm -hmm. that we get to experience or hold on to while we're here is just on loan to us, uh, yeah, but yeah. it's on loan from an infant source. Yeah, right. So yeah. it's just passing through my hands. Anyway, so you might as well some good shoes. I'm up last week. You know, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna jump higher. Yeah. 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 When, yeah. This insane yeah. amount of drive. You're very successful living in Los Angeles. What are you still driving for, striving for? What's next? A legacy for me. I'm Children. 38, yes. single, no kids. So now it's like, how do I put myself in a Ladies. position yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to do that? Like, create a legacy. Because they say, what do you want to be known for? And most people say my legacy. So when you see The Rock, DJ Khaled, all these guys that are my age or are probably older, finally having kids or a son and just mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know, showering them with love. Like, I want to know what that feels like. Mm -hmm. That's so, it. That's what drives me. Hey, ABC, so awesome, you might have found your next bachelor. <laughs> 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 you yeah. I got asked to be on The Bachelor. But Seriously? But this is yeah. too old. Literally. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, oh, yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah, oh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, what's up? Christmas isn't over. Yeah, Played with the Golden State Warriors, won the NBA championship. That was his custom teams we got for him. Awesome. Did the championship bring in here? Yeah. 
www.q4sports.com um, you can find us on IG same thing Q4 Sports yeah awesome stay tuned we'll be back with more and good morning La La Land <laughs>